hello YouTube this is Aman and today I'm comes with new video tutorial uh, today I'm gonna show you how to use SSH in your PowerShell so we don't know actually how SSH work in PowerShell because uh, we can use many others uh, module like SSH push so this is actually not the good way to use PowerShell so basically we're gonna install another module like uh, git bash for our windows but it will actually work it as our uh, in our powershell so let's get started so first of all we're gonna download the git from git for windows let's gonna search git for windows so here is the website download git for windows so downloading package i'm gonna put this link in description so i'm gonna download the 64 bit so it's already i have already downloaded so i'm gonna cancel it so here's my downloaded file already installed too and uh, i'm gonna install it now press next 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 so it's actually installing so it should be take one to two minutes to get installed so let's wait in here okay it's about to get installed so we can test our SSH that is actually uh, not working from our PowerShell that uh, before installing the uh, git but uh, we will link this git with PowerShell so we can use SSH or, or any other Linux or terminal command from our PowerShell so it's about to install right now okay uh, it's installed so you can see that a uh, launch git bash so in finish you can see that uh, it's actually a program to connect our uh, use term uh, use like a party so let's you can see that ssh is actually working so we're gonna now we're gonna use PowerShell instead of Git Bash, but you can see that SSH is not working in here. So first of all, we go to the uh, Git uh, Git Bash, and we'll right click here, and you can see that open the file location. So we're gonna file the uh, file fi fi uh, We're gonna search the file location from our uh, program file. So you can see that uh, the file location is in here. You can see that user folder. So we're gonna open user folder. There's a five folders in here. So you're gonna open a uh, bin. So in bin folder, we'll t uh, copy the bin folder location, and we're gonna open. Uh, right click the properties of uh, start button and open a system. And the advanced system settings, uh, we're gonna go to environment variables, and we're gonna click the path twice. And you can see that uh, the git cmd is already in here but we're gonna add a new uh, environment variable in here so let's uh, press new and we'll pass the copied uh, directory list in here so the directory will pass the directory in here so that means c program file git user bin so it will be your dist uh, installation location or file location of bin folder so press click ok and ok and okay so when you have uh, added the environment variable uh, we're gonna restart our server to work properly in PowerShell so let's restart our server so I'm gonna restart my server now okay the restart process has been done um, so we can check our PowerShell so we're gonna open PowerShell as administrator mode so you can see that administrator in here so we can uh, type ssh you can see that ssh command actually working now so we cannot connect our any of our server from this uh, powershell terminal like let's uh, uh, increase the font size okay you can see that ssh is working here so let's connect one of our server so Let's connect SSH.
okay I connected one of my Ubuntu server in here so we can use any command that we used to uh, do in Linux terminal or party so like uh, sudo su apt get update anything else so this actually working in front PowerShell and you can even uh, use this PowerShell as for Windows uh, negation too. So this is actually our today's video tutorial. Thanks for watching this video and make sure you like, comment and keep the subscribe our channel.